Welcome to another episode of Basagan ng Trip. I'm Lelo Claudio. I teach history and literature at De La Salle University. As always, kung meron kayong tanong, meron kayong suggestions about future episode topics, gusto niyo kong itroll, please tweet me at Lelo Claudio. As you know, uh, I've been having episodes about the courses that nobody wants to take. So, pwede niyong balikan to mga episodes na to. Yung unang ginawa natin is why you should take philosophy and that was with JJ Joaquin. And then the next one was why you should teach uh, take English or literature with Francis Sangil. Ngayon, we're going to talk about another course na konti lang yung gustong kumuha and that's the course called Sociology. And with me is another colleague of mine from De La Salle University. She's one of the up-and-coming great sociologists in the Philippines. She's an assistant pre- professor at the Department of Behavioral Sciences at De La Salle University. Welcome to Basagan and Trip, Dr. Bubbles Asor. Hello. Hello, Bubbles. So, let's dive straight into it. Ang kausap mo ngayon, Bubbles, hindi lang mga sudyante, kundi mga parents. Right. How are you going, going to convince them to take up sociology? Right. Um, so, first, maybe we can uh, very briefly define what sociology is, uh-huh. right? So, sociology is the scientific study of actually the world but mm-hmm. historians are also mm-hmm. doing that uh, literary people are oh. also doing that but this one is the relationship between the individual and the, the social mm-hmm. world right and the social world here means pro- social processes social institution mm-hmm. parang lahat everything mm-hmm. and jj also mentioned oh. philosophy is also about everything but this one is actually the very complex relationship between the individual and the, the oh. bigger world. Tsaka iba yung metodo nyo sa metodo ng right. filosofiya, di ba? Right. Anong pinakakaiba? The, the scientific study that we say here is really that rigor. Mm. That I'm not saying that philosophy doesn't have that rigor. Oh. Pero very systematic kasi oh. siya. So there are two ways. The quantitative sociology, which by the way is very important in mm. many fields. Um, non-social science fields, mm. right? Like st- it's, it's, a, it's statistics. It, it involves statistics and the study of data sets and bigger mm. number of people. And really the uh, relationship between the individual based on variables such mm. as gender, mm. religion. Mm. So, kino cover niya ang maraming bagay. Oh. So, many people don't really know, ano ba talaga inaaral ng sociology? Mm. Sociology is actually the science or the scientific study of not so obvious. Akala natin, ay, hindi na ako mag-sociology of family, mm. sociology of religion. I have a family, I don't need to study it ah, systematically. Oh. I have religion or I don't have religion, mm. so ba't ko kailangan aralin yan? Mm. So it is really the study of we go beyond the commonsensical, mm. the going beyond the taken for granted, mm. and the s- not so obvious. Kasi mm. lahat ng bagay, may mga sa likod niyan, may nangyayari. And historians are oh. our pinaka cousin when uh-huh. when when we do this now meron storya meron b- beyond this individual mm-hmm. biography sabi ni si Wright Mills the biography meron pang history and social forces mm-hmm. that are influencing this so for example mga victims of tokang for example mm-hmm. or extrajudicial killings hindi namin tinitingnan sila na kasalanan nila kasi mga drugista yan eh mm-hmm. okay lang yan sa amin paano yan naging allegedly pusher. Mm. Paano it, itong isang grupo sa payatas ay tina-target, mm. for example, ng state or the mm. police force? May story ah. be, be beyond that. Pwedeng historical, ah. pwedeng economic, mm. pwedeng political. So, kinocover namin mm. ang maraming bagay. Mm. So, yun yung sociology. Although, kung mag, sa magulang, I don't think gusto nila. No. Is that, I don't think they want their kids to be sent to the schools and study all of these. Kasi ano habang ba ang trabaho? Oh. Pero contrary to the popular belief, Google now are hiring both anthropologists and sociologists mm. to really study the corporate world, mm. what is going on, you know, the dynamics mm. and the mechanisms, social mechanisms mm. within that. Engineers, mm. um, engineering companies, mm. genetic companies want to hire sociologists and anthropologists to study people. Iba rin ang insight niyo when it comes to organizations, yes. no? Because yes. uh, you study societies and organizations are, of yep. course, mini societies. Yep. So, you know of companies that hire in-house sociologists right, or right. in-house anthropologists? Different levels. Uh, kasi my micro-sociology, mm. my meso-sociology, okay. and macro-sociology. So, tinatahi mm. namin yung tatlo. Mm. So, for students, it requires a lot of reading. Mm. It requires a lot of thinking, mm. thoughtful thinking. Mm. And, sabi nga ni Peter Berger, an American sociologist, we are like the peeping toms. Mm. We like to... You know, go through the envelopes, the mails, mm. the the hidden letters of people, uh. the closed doors meetings, mga meeting ng uh. mga pare at ng mga prostitutes uh. at the same time, right? We are both interested not because th- these are our pr- mm. 
you know, personal preferences, but because of the questions that we, the, the answers to the questions that we want to know about social phenomenon. So, parang kayo yung mga nagtatanong ng mga tanong na nakakainis. <laughs> nakakainis, exactly. Yung parang, bakit mo pinoproblematize yan? And I know that now. My friends would say, bakit ang namin mong, my students would ask, why do we need to problematize? Why, what is gender doing in this, in this movie? And many of my first year students said, uh, ma'am, I don't enjoy movies anymore the way I used to because of what you talked. Kasi na problematize si Anan Pak. Now don't accept it because it's given to you. There's no such thing as normal, mm. natural, and commonsensical. Mm. Nothing commonsensical kasi produkto ng lipunan. Exactly. Uh, may pinanggagalingan. Right. So what, when we say that certain things are produced by society, produkto ng lipunan, what do we mean when we say that? Right. So the biography, yung sabi ni isang sociologist, C. Wright Mills, yung biography or yung individual, um, produkto siya, as you mentioned, she, uh, he or she, uh, is shaped by mm -hmm. the social forces, or what he mm -hmm. called, C. Wright Mills called, by uh, history. Mm -hmm. That the private trouble has a direct link to the public issues, mm -hmm. right? So, for example, women um, may not be able to achieve what they want in terms of uh, corporate ladder mm -hmm. because of different variables and different public issues, mm -hmm. such as gender inequality. Mm -hmm. Right. So kahit magtrabaho ka ng magtrabaho ng magtrabaho, mm. hindi mo siya ma-achieve kaagad-agad kasi may mga impediments or barriers na tinatawag nating social structures. Mm. Mm. At ang social structures are very embedded and not just embedded na institutional na permeate siya sa everyday life. At tayo bilang individual individuals, we have in internalized kargada, na, kargada natin yan right. lahat, yeah. lahat ng humubog sa iyo na hindi lang ikaw yung pamilya mo yung lipunan mo yung estado mo yung bayan mo right. kargada mo yung lahat so that that complicates our idea of people but but, but at the same time meron ding agency mm. na tinatawag which we define as the autonomy mm. and the way we can um, deal with the bigger structures mm. at spectrum yon mm. pwede you can co-opt Mm. Tanggapin mo na lang para ka na lang passive receptacle, mm. but individuals do not do that. Amazingly, pwede mong circumnavigate, mm. pwede kang magresist, pwede kang magcoop, pwede, pwede kang magalit. Magalit. No, may Kaya na may mga oh. collective action, may social mm. movement na inaaral din sa soso sa sociologiya. So, and daming perspectives na pwede gamitin sa sociology para siyang toolkit. So, pa pagrelihiyon, merong kaming toolkit to to make sense of it. And many in sociology is to really to make sense of the society and the social issues and the social processes and the social institutions at social relationships then. So, bakit ganito ang relasyon ko sa magulang ko? Bakit ganito ang relasyon ko sa malakalakang uh, uh, lipunan, for example? So, if you are a sociologist, you become a better person, a better daughter, a better son, a better friend, kasi naiintindihan mo, ah, ganito nanay ko kasi May pinanggalingan. May pinanggagalingan siya. So, hindi ka pwedeng magalit o away na lang tayo, abandonahin mo na lang. Kasi dito, naiintindihan mo ang mechanism. So, makulit ka magtanong, pero magaling ka rin naman umunawa. Exactly. Okay. Perfect yon. Kaya lang, hindi ko alam kung may pera doon sa ganon. Okay. But you can be a very good worker mm. kasi naiintindihan mo yung organization, naiintindihan mo yung market. Mm. Is a market is a very important social institution that we study as well. Ikaw, paano ka naging sociologist? You're very passionate about sociology. Right. How did you obtain that passion? Um, actually, it's by accident. And many sociologists become sociologists by accident. Kasi political scientist mm. talaga ako. Undergraduate ko is political science. And at the time, I was like, yeah, this is amazing already. Because I love political philosophy from Ar Socrates to Maynard Keynes and Amartya Sen. But then, I was always upset and angry because it's very macro-structural. Power is what I'm mm. basically. Who gets what, where, basically, mm. says, uh, so political science. But I'm feeling that I don't have agency. Wala akong, so what am I going to do with all these big forces? Mm. Then I was MA. Ako. Um, I, pero in, in, ano pa rin siya, um, IR, so more political science. Then international I, relations. International yeah. relations. Then I discover migration. But migration is an interdisciplinary field. And mostly, may mga geographers, may mga sociologists, anthropologists na nag-aaral ng migration. And I encounter na kahit ang laki-laki ng impediments and barriers, which we call the social structures, 
this little OFW, overseas Filipino worker, can have uh, different subjectivities, identities, and new identities, mm. and collectivities and solidarities when they're overseas. Mm. So sabi ko, oh, I like this. I fell in love with it. And sociology is the tool that I'm going to use in my academic life and in my personal life as well. In your personal life yeah, also. In my personal life. How can yeah. how can sociology help you in your personal life? You guys have been unawa mo yung nanay Everything mo. is social construct mm. for me. Kasi mm. importante yung idea sa sa sociologia na everything is socially constructed which means something is constructed, mm. created, um, accepted and normalized. So hindi mo kasalanan ang nangyayari sa mundo. Uh -huh. Then if, if that is the case, hindi ka, you don't blame yourself. Mm. Oh, I did not work hard. So if I don't get tenure, sabi ko, ah, kasi ni liberal. So you believe that sociology education. is a discipline of hope? Oh, There's I, I like the way, way you there. put that. I like the way you put it. Or despair as well. Mm, both. Double-edged mm. siya, double-edged siya. It gives you hope, but at the same time, it also makes you desperate na parang really is there a way out of this mm. yeah one of my colleagues would say they they need sociologists for example in policy papers because we can polish their works mm. and these are the, the things the policy papers have direct impact to the poor for example for peace pag inaral namin yon maintindihan namin na hindi lang yung dole out mm. Now, that four piece can be, you know, it will give human dignity to people. Even Ayun, uh, sa 5,000 pesos. Kasi ang tingin ng mga middle class, eh, nababayad ako ng tax eh. Bakit kailangan bigyan niya ng 5,000 mm. pesos yung mga yan? Pero sa amin, ma maaaral namin in a very systematic way na hi hindi kawalan masyado mm. ang limang libong piso. You know, for a family of five or six, if you give them 5,000 pesos, it's not about the physical needs. Because physical needs, when you uh, respond to them, it may give a human dignity to these five or six people, which we call the family. Kasi very common sense. Kaya huwag yung bigyan, mga tam magiging tamad yan eh. Mm. Pero kami, unpack namin yung hindi katamaran ang, ang problema. Systemic ang issue ng poverty. Hence, maybe four piece can be one of the solutions. And not, but not, obviously not the only Not the, the only, only one of the so may. Kasi mm. may mga caution din kami. Uh. It may be one solution. But we're not saying it is the mm. solution, right? Mm. Kasi different perspectives kang nanggagaling. Very multi, hindi siya interdisciplinary, multidimensional. Kasi ang tingin ng mga socio sociologists, a person is not, doesn't consist of one single story. A person is made of multiple stories. Mm. And those multiple stories can be made sense of from different perspective. Kapag gender, meron kaming mm. perspective about gender. Kapag religion, may perspective kami from re religion. I want to go back to yung question ko kanina bago ko tapakawalan. Yeah. Try to convince the parents. Yeah, yeah. One last pitch before I let you go. Ang pangarap ng naman ng mga magulang, you will have children who would grow like good people. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of those. Kasi holistic siya. Mm -hmm. If, all of us, if I were a, a parent, I would like my children to be holistic. And money is just one aspect mm. of it. Of course, we all want to have good salary, mm. high salary, mm. high paying job. But at the end of the day, what kind of person you're, you want your child to be? And sociology can be one of those ways to go about it. Mabalikan ko yun. Uh, ito napaka kihotik nitong attempt nito to, to mga episodes ito because really parents, Kayo yung gusto kong kumbinsin eh. Marami naman sa inyo, marami naman sa anak nyo actually, gustong kumuha ng mga courses like sociology, English, philosophy. Kayo yung may ayaw eh. Kasi yung thinking nyo, you know better than them. Why do you think you know better than them? Because you know that you want them to be stable financially. That's a very fair demand of your children. But if your children have demands more than that, I think you should cultivate those demands because university, college is not vocational school. Kaya nga tayo nag-K to 12 kasi kung gusto natin ng vocational studies, doon dapat yung vocational studies ma-focus nun sa high school or in, 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 in particular vocational schools like TESDA for instance. Pero the privilege of going to college, one of the things that you get as a privilege of go, going to college or university, and it is a privilege because not everyone can afford it, not everyone has the time for it, but kung nasa college na rin naman yung mga anak nyo, it's actually a good opportunity to turn them into good citizens or napaka simple ng kaibabos eh. Turn them into good people. Di ba? So, at the end of the day, that's what you want from your kids. Di ba? You want your kids growing up knowing that they've contributed a lot to society. Not just 
not just that they haven't done any harm to society, but that they've actually contributed to making other people's lives better. And you can't do that through just plain do-goodism. Isa sa mga sinasabi ni Bubbles eh. A lot of us wanna, wanna do good. But unless we ask challenging questions, unless we keep probing, and unless we're extra critical, then yung do-goodism natin will be nothing but affect. It will be nothing but yung energy natin. But if we use disciplines like sociology to turn that do-goodism into something systematic, scientific, rigorous, but also in tune with what it means to be a human being in society, then I think we can transcend not just only going to college to work, but we can also transcend the idea that we go to college to become simply uh, better people. Sociology says, yes, you can go to college to become a better person, but you can go to college to become a better person in a disciplined and rigorous way. And that's really what I appreciated from our guest today. Gusto kong pasalamatan ulit si Dr. Bubbles Asor for joining me in my Quixotic Quest to get students to take liberal arts courses. Napaka-importante. Maraming salamat, Bubbles. That's a beautiful Thank summary. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. <laughs>